Bonjour, or maybe you prefer hello everyone. <laughs> it's me, Kinderkill. I'm a French YouTuber specialized at Minecraft development since six or seven years now. And I decide in French to make a series about Minecraft MCP in 1.8, 1.16 now. And a lot of you guys ask me to do the same video in English. So I'm gonna try with this one. I already make one or two video in English and I see none of you do that so i'm gonna try if you like that please leave a like and leave a comment for help me to do better video in english i really uh want to make that but i'm not a very good bilingual <laughs> maybe because i don't go to school very long <laughs> but i try to do my best with some notes so maybe i'm gonna just switch my eyes don't worry so anyway, we're gonna go inside. Today we're gonna create a core a classes who help us to create a client. The first step for create a good client, fully independent. By that I mean we don't gonna use Minecraft class. We don't gonna code inside Minecraft class, but we're gonna do external uh, package and classes. Uh, it's maybe can hard to understand, especially in English. So I don't gonna waste more time and I'm gonna show you directly what we're gonna do. So like you see in my French project, I have a custom package with custom function and variable who can help us to launch initialize or get some resources easily without put our code in uh, minecraft.java because uh, like that why it's important to do like that it's because it's gonna be more clearer and uh, update your project more simple because you're just gonna copy past your package with all your code in the new minecraft.java and just fix the call you made for the new function so, first of all, if you don't have the Minecraft source code, I'm gonna link in the description a video uh, about how to get the source code in English. And after you get that, you can start with me this video. So we're gonna create a new package. So right click new package. We're gonna name that by maybe the, the name of your project. So for me, it's gonna be simple uh, YouTube. If you want to follow the Java doc, we can add the country before, so com net fr. So for me, it's gonna be just YouTube. And we're gonna create a new classes will be our new core. So for me, it's gonna be YouTube core. First of all, we're gonna create a function who start at the same time of Minecraft for maybe initialize or launch our custom system. So we're gonna make a public void uh, launch. And Inside, we're gonna make some few code. We're gonna make a println for see if it works. So system dot out dot print Lunch YouTube core. Okay. And for call this function, we're gonna need to instance an instance of our class. So for that, we're gonna make a pri uh, yes a private static YouTube core instance egal new YouTube core. So in this series, uh, I'm gonna explain how Java works just because I don't really know how to explain that in English. If you really don't understand what I do, what an instance, what a variable or function are, so follow and learn Java from English YouTubers. It's gonna be more simple to understand this series. So I'm gonna try to explain a little how it's work but no going deeper in the Java explanations. After we create our variable, we need to write a getter. So public static YouTube core, blah, 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 blah. YouTube core get instance. We we'll return, of course, our instance. Poof. And like that, we're gonna return a new object, YouTube core. So like that, we're gonna, we can call launch. So in net.minecraft, clients we have the main class of minecraft with minecraft.java and here we have the constructor of minecraft and all the way down this class is we're gonna have the end of the initializations so if i was youtube core dot get instance got launch at the end of all the initialization program like we can see here item render render manager minecraft gonna call the launch function we're gonna print a launch youtube core okay so if we try our game started and at the end of the initialization system we have our system out printed in working perfectly so now i'm gonna show you some few things we can do for now with the, the core so we're gonna make one more variable with public 
static final string, we're gonna be uh, project username because when the game on MCP starts, they're gonna generate a new username based on player plus a random number. So we're gonna fix that with adding a new uh, string. Uh, we're gonna call that uh, player or uh, like you want, YouTube player. Really, you do like you want. So in net.minecraft client main main, we're gonna have, if we search option spec 10, we can just change the default to by YouTube core and our variable it's a uh, public static so we can call it in every class and every package without get an object instance. It's not required to get an instance for simply have a string of your username. It's really useless to do that. And like that, when we launch the game, we're gonna have a project username. If you still want to keep the random player, maybe for uh, make some test on a server, local server, you can up, leave that by default and simply add a boolean public static final boolean ide username true. And like that, we can simply do a conditions if YouTube core ID username. So we're gonna use our custom username. So option spec 10 égal YouTube core, uh, not YouTube core. Up default to the tag YouTube core well, username. Else defaults to our code. We have some simple other way to do that in Java, but for now I'm gonna show you the simply way with help else in this method and not the if else. And that's all for this video. I try a lot to be really understandable and clear with what I said, but it's very hard to do that. So it's a test video. Maybe I'm gonna do another video, depend of your return of your comment, because maybe maybe it's gonna be a shitty video and it's not gonna be worth to do another one, because if I explain something, but no one understand because I'm speak very badly, that makes no sense. So leave me your comments if you're in English about this video. If you're French, s'il vous plaît, faites pas ça. <laughs> Je fais des vidéos en français, ne restez pas là. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it be useful for you. If I do more video in English, it's gonna be about the Windows title, about the resources, blocks, items, and some other easy things to do in Minecraft for beginners. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make some complex videos so on hard system because I just can't explain what I do in English. It just found uh, for now impossible for me. Uh, anyway, I don't gonna waste you more time. Thanks for watching. I gonna see you maybe another time. Like I said, leave a comment, please. It's helping me to to know if I do this correctly or not. Au revoir and subscribe.